Hi, my name is Eric Scherter, and I'm the product manager for the Static Site Editor Group here at GitLab. I wanted to voice over a bit of a guided tour of this diagram I created uh, as I was sketching out some ideas for uh, the potential direction our feature could take in sort of a one to two year time frame, uh, and to highlight a few potential directions we could go. So the current static site editor right now is configured to work with a static site that passes in markdown content to a single page editor. So that's where we are right now. We have a WYSIWYG, what you see is what you get mode. Uh, we're iterating on that to make it compatible with the handbook. And we're working on making sure that we have a really solid single page editing experience. We have a pretty um, clear line of sight into iterations in that editor itself. Uh, having the ability to edit the site front matter and configure the page behavior a little bit. Um, we could potentially add image tools, image optimization, cropping, and stuff like that, inline media, or even extend um, the editor to be able to work with things like um, partials or including um, content from other files or data files. Um, we also have a pretty good sense of work that needs to be done to handle some more complex multi-page workflows. And uh, we're doing some UX research currently to um, validate some solutions around editing multiple pages, having draft workflows where you can return to pick up work on, uh, on pages that you may have edited the, the prior day or, or weeks before even. And then monitor the status of the resulting MR from within the static site editor experience so you don't have to push over to the merge result page. A little further down the line, we have some other enhancements that we're pretty sure we're going to need to do um, or might explore, including the ability to have more of a block editor or page builder experience within the editor, being able to reorder content, insert different types of content, maybe even have the ability to create custom content block types, like maybe an image carousel or something along those lines. And then a uh, really fast, real-time, almost real-time even, um, preview using the production styles would be um, another thing that we are pretty sure we need to do. From there it gets a little less clear and we have a few options that we can take, a few directions we can take. Um, the first one is in line with some of the projects we've seen where we've got um, a static site hosted on a production server and on that, that live production site there's a, a JavaScript application that provides a a live page editing experience. And what that does is it lowers the uh, barrier for collaboration because you can edit when you are looking at the production content. And in this scenario, what, what that might look like is within the GitLab product, this little purple bar at the top means you're in the GitLab product. All we'd really offer here is the ability to configure the project. And then when the site is packaged and deployed, whether it be on pages or another server, um, you'd have your production site that has an edit link somewhere, whether it's visible or not. We would handle authentication because the data is still stored in the GitLab repo, so anybody with access to the data would, uh, would be able to make edits. And then we would sort of embed our editor into the live production site. There's a lot of hand-waving going on there. There might be projects, um, static site generators that are architected in ways that would prevent this from working. Uh, we might need to... to pave a path with just a few approved, uh, more modern JavaScript uh, static site editors. Down the line, we might also introduce the ability to, to work on multiple pages within this sort of um, live development environment on the production server. So the ability to navigate between multiple pages or create new pages, preview those changes in a draft form, and then create and monitor merge requests from that experience. Another completely unrelated direction would be to take the editor work we have and tie it very closely with the web IDE. Um, we can see a future where maybe this visual editor is actually just something where if the file format supports it, it's a, it's a visual editor mode within the web IDE for lack of a better um, phrase, but we could have it either side by side as an, as, a, as an explicit separate editor or maybe a mode within the web IDE itself. And then all it would take to integrate with your product is linking to the editor from your site. It makes it simple, but it does feel a little limited in its um, 
future direction and and possibilities for other managing other types of content and um, encouraging collaboration with uh, non-developer personas. So the third direction is somewhat of a hybrid or headless CMS. And if we imagine that coming into the GitLab product, for the sake of argument, what I've done is just sort of co-opted the, the concept of pages here. But if we promoted the, the concept of pages to a top level concept within the, the left sidebar, um, you could imagine uh, an experience where a user goes and creates a project to be used in pages. They choose what, what generator, what static site generator they want to work with, whether that's Jekyll or Gatsby or Middleman. Maybe we have a few that we can install for you, or you can choose one that is already installed in the project. And then we'd offer some level of configuration. We would map the data and the template uh, syntax and the front matter that we identify within the, the templates and choose your data sources and all that stuff within the GitLab uh, interface. And then probably every time a pipeline builds, uh, we'd be able to extrapolate information about what pages and what templates and what data and even what assets are available. So we could build a, a lightweight CMS within the GitLab product and allow people to navigate across their published pages, maybe create new pages from templates fairly easily, and then embed that editor experience that we've been working on since a few months ago um, right within the GitLab product and, and have it really be sort of a pages editor. There's a lot of directions we could take Moving forward, we could have closer ties with some of the other um, products within GitLab, other features within GitLab, like um, bringing in the, the Monaco editor uh, to edit code in line if that's necessary. We could have a way to visualize data um, in sort of like a, a table spreadsheet kind of way and even build out like image and asset libraries based on what's stored in the, in the project or or even connect to CDNs. And then, and then further out, there's a lot of other possibilities, but I did want to highlight that I don't think that option one and three or A and C are necessarily uh, mutually exclusive, although for the, for the purposes of focus, we should probably pick one. Um, I do see a future where we could have a lightweight CMS, but that also installs a uh, a live page editing experience for projects that do support it. So the long-term vision would potentially be to converge some of these concepts together and offer even further um, features like editorial workflows for blogs, um, versioning of, uh, of docs uh, using sort of a branch system or something like that so that you can support documentation site type workflows. And then potentially down the road, like live collaborative editing on, on documents and pages. So there's a lot of possibilities once we get this all in place. Um, so that's where we are headed or might be headed. We're going to be doing a lot of uh, learning once we get the static site editor in front of everybody. And uh, we're excited to see where it takes us. Thank you.